about to even go and start some start shit. Rather Hi everybody and welcome back to Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a 30 minute walk, run, build intervals. Yes. So if you miss any speed or incline changes, I don't want you to worry. I don't want you to freak out because we're going to have that all displayed right over here for you to see onto your screen. And then if you look over onto this side, we have this nice long progression bar that's going to show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Now, let's make sure really quick we have a towel in a water bottle handy because we are going to get sweaty. So if you're ready to get sweaty, let's look down at that tread, hit that start button in three, in two, and one. Here we go. We start off two, five, three, five. All right. We're only here for 30 seconds and we're going to take it up right into a fast walk. Okay. After this 30 seconds is over, I'm kind of going to give you the roadmap. Okay. So in the description, it's 30 minutes of walking and running. Okay. We're slowly going to build up our pace so that we can start to run. We're learning how to hold pace, how to become a runner. Here we go. Take it to a three, two, four, two, and give me a 0.5 on the incline. And we're going to keep that 0.5 the whole entire time. Okay, so we're at three, two, four, two, and we're here for two minutes, so you're slowly gonna start building up your pace. If you are new to working out and you want to start becoming a runner, okay, it doesn't happen overnight. You don't just go from a sedentary life and wake up one day and boom, you can run miles and miles and miles. It doesn't happen like that. Maybe if you are magnificent, the genetic phenomenon, it can, okay? But majority of us, it's gonna take time and it's gonna take practice. This workout is designed to help get you there, okay? So we're going to have four different blocks, five different blocks, five different blocks. I said uh, last workout, I did the same thing. Am I having four? But it's really five. You're gonna slowly build up your pace so that we start to jog. So it's going to be a normal walk, a fast walk, a jog, and then a run. So you're only running for two minutes at a time, okay? And I know that can be stressful and that can be hard. Give me a little bit more pace, three, two, four, two, okay? But we're gonna do it, okay? Today is the day. You picked this workout, because it said walk, run. You picked it, all right? You knew there was gonna be walking, you knew there was gonna be running. It's two minutes straight. I want you just to like take a little moment, put your hand on your heart, take a nice good deep inhale. I don't care if it looks silly. I don't care if you feel silly, but this is it right here. You got yourself, okay? It's not gonna be easy all the time. Sometimes you gotta push yourself. You wanna be great. You gotta try to do great things. Let's go. That was your pep talk today, okay? You're not at your four two. You can pick it up to your four two. It's a fast walk. So we're picking it up a little bit and then you can take it back down for the last 30 seconds. The good news is once we start our intervals, we start block number one, the first two minutes, we're still walking. Okay? Good. Now take it down, 3040. So I'm gonna keep my pace the same. I like where I am, I'm at a four. I'm gonna stay here. And the next one, we stay the same too. 20 more seconds, we stay. 3-0, 4 -oh. it's a normal walk, that's what we're calling it, just the normal. This the norm, da -da -da. okay? After that, we take it into a fast walk. Yeah, yeah, jazz hands. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. Yeah, okay? Take it up, 3 0 4 -oh. five, uh, point five on the incline, not five on the incline. That would be a little crazy. We're like, get you in here. You want to start running, let's go walk on the incline first and then take off the incline, then you sprint. <laughs> You're be dead, no. Starting off slow. You're getting your body used to movement, okay? Like, like I said, if you live in a sedentary life and you're new to your fitness journey, new to your fitness journey, okay? Remember, it's a journey. There's no destination, there's no end road. There's no like pirate's booty treasure chest where you open up and you're satisfied. I, I, you're always gonna work. It's always gonna be something to try to get better. And you'll notice that along the way. You'll understand what I'm saying, okay? But today's the day. Today's the day, fam. We're going for it, okay? Three, five, four, five, pick up your pace. You gotta add something on, okay? You gotta add it on. Because if you don't add it on, you're not following along. So, pump the arms. It's a fast, fast walk. Fast walk, power walk, right? Sometimes, I'm gonna be honest, the power walks, I'd rather take a soft jog than a power walk. I feel like it's more effort for me to do a fast walk. Call me crazy, 
right? But I honestly feel like that's true, it's true facts. So from this, okay, we go from a 4.0 to a 6.5, okay? 4.0 for me is a walk, so I don't really want you to stay at a 4.0 if you're walking. If you're on the shorter side, your legs are a little shorter, 4.0 will be a soft jog. That's okay, okay? But from here, we're gonna take it up to a jog. 4.065, that means one foot on the ground at a time. There's a little pep in your step there. You go in six, five, four, three, two, pick it up. Okay, it's not the fastest, it's just a jog. You're jogging, you're getting used to it, you're breathing, okay? This is what's hard when you're starting to become a runner. It's not the body, all right? Because usually what happens, we go zero to 100. We like, I'm gonna run. We don't know how to control our pace. And then you just sprint and your little engine gasses out pretty quick. Right here, we're learning how to control pace and learning how to breathe at them. Once you understand how to breathe and move at the same time, I know, you're like, I breathe and move all the time. It ain't the same, okay? And the more you do this, the more you understand that. But once you get the breathing down, the runs will be a lot easier, okay? And you'll be able to hold them longer. You won't freak yourself out. Here we go. We take it up one more time. Four, five, seven, oh, this is a run. It's not a jog. Pick it up. Let's go. It's not the fastest. It's not a sprint. It's not a hard run, right? It's just a run. Yep, you got it. Keep squeezing that core. Keep pumping those arms. You get like a one minute slow recovery. We take it back down to two, five, three, five. We have 40 seconds to get there. And I just want you to know, every block is the same. So we only have to do exactly what we did four more times. Oh yeah, woo woo, hey. Let's go. Come on, come on. 20 seconds left. You got it. Pick it up, pick it up. Last 15. You're almost there. You are tough. You're not gonna stop. You're gonna keep running for seven, six, five, four, three, two, two, five, three, five, and just walk it out. All right. Minute recovery. I played this song in one of the Instagram reels. Now it's coming to real life in one of your workouts. I love that. All right, guess what? We do it again, we start off slow. We walk, we walk, we jog, we run. We walk, we walk, we jog, we run, okay? Just keep thinking that in your head. Okay, the yuckies are on the side of your mouth. Hydrate, towel off, whatever you need to do, 25 seconds. Just remember, we start off that start off, that slow start where we don't have to jog, enjoy it, okay? That's the moment you breathe. You're like, okay, this workout I can do no matter what. And you can, okay? Let's go 3 0, 4 0, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pick up that pace. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Everything just a minute at a time. Working hard not quitting and not stopping you guys come on 30 minutes you carved out for yourself right you made the time to come here so like when there's a moment you feel a little out of breath and you're questioning why you picked the workout just remember the reason why you jumped on in the first place the reason you blocked out that time it is important, it's not silly, and it's not for you just to give up and throw away. Fight for it, fight for yourself. We're gonna pick up the pace in 15 more seconds. You got this. Don't forget to smile. It's gonna trick your brain into thinking you're happy and you're having fun on this treadmill, okay? A little trick of the trade, we go five, four, three, two, one, pick it up. We're at a three, four, four, five. I remember that was in high school somebody's mom said something that I was on the track team and I was running sprints and they were like, why does she always smile when she's running? I don't know. Maybe running makes you happy. 
right? You ever just find yourself smiling? You're like, oh, I'm a smiler. If not, maybe start doing it. See what happens. See if your life changes. Or somehow, I'm like, well, I'm just so happy all of a sudden. 30 seconds. You guys ready? This is two minutes of work coming up. Guys, we're going to our jog and then our run. Oh, yeah, here we go. One minute run, 4065. We got 15 seconds. I know. Oh, voice of an angel. You know how to tell me, guys. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pick it up. You sing to yourself? Come on, everybody does it. Everybody does it. I know, I'm just singing to like so many people across the world. We love to run. Running is amazing. Come on. Let's go, let's go. I don't know why I was singing so quiet. I was just so heavy loud on the mic. You got this, guys. We're gonna pick it up in 30 seconds. Okay, this is gonna be the hard, it's the hard part. Okay, this is the work part where we take it to the run. That four, four, five, seven, oh pace, okay? 20 seconds till we get there. Take that inhale, exhale all the bullshit. Yeah, I said it. Whatever you're holding on to, exhale it out. Cause this last minute is us, right? Bringing a new life, new energy. Four, five, seven, oh, three, two, one, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. Four, five, seven, oh. One minute on the clock, one foot in front of the other, one step at a time. Here we go. Squeeze the core, pump the arms. We get to walk and recover on the other side of this. Woo, baby. 30 more seconds. Bum, ba, da, ba, da, 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 da. Bum, da, 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 da. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Yeah. Listen, you want to run faster than 7 0. You got 15 seconds. Pick it up. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, take it down. You're at two, five, three, five. Oh yeah, this is our recovery number two. We're almost there. You got three more, we just do it again and again and again. Remember, we're walking for the next three minutes straight. So you have enough time. Just kind of like settle yourself back, back down. Cause like if you're not used to those runs, they can cause high levels of anxiety because you're freaking out that you're not gonna finish, freaking out you can't breathe. Just slow down your pace, all right? Remember this? Remember this from the beginning? I do this quite a bit when I'm like stressed out, so it ain't silly. I'll just do it to kind of be like, you're okay, right? Feel your hands onto your heart. Let yourself know that you're okay. Feel yourself breathe. And just know that you have the next three minutes to kind of get your breathing back under control. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two. This is our normal walk. 3040. We pick up the pace. Yeah, we do, baby. After this next walk, we're literally halfway through the workout. So just keep going. One interval at a time. Everything is for a minute today. So every single minute, we just do something different. Just add on a little bit more. We go to the top, we come back down. We go to the top, we come back down. Okay? 30 seconds. 30 seconds you take it to your fast walk. We're not even running yet. You're still all right. You got this. Come on, come on, come on. I know. Fatigue starts settling in, usually around halfway through any workout. This workout too, even if you're like more advanced and you've been running, if you listen to the paces, the normal walk at a four, the fast walk at a four or five, the jog at a six five, the run at a seven. You get work too, okay? Pick it up. Let's go. Three, five, four, five. So I don't want anybody to be like, oh, it was too easy. If it's too easy and all of those paces are still too easy, kick it up a notch. You got this. I mean, sometimes your body is just like on 
fire. I mean like dynamite. I mean it's just like it can just go. Last night I was in boxing. I don't know. I felt like I was every time I did a push up I could float off the ground. I had like so much energy, so much power, so much power. But there's some days where I feel like oh, I'm sludge. Can't move my arms. I could barely do a sit on my back hurt. All right, not every day is quick created equal, but what is the difference? I don't ever quit. I never stop. I stay consistent on my goals. Here we go. You two, you're gonna stay consistent. You're not gonna stop. Maybe this is your first workout of Ibex, first workout of your fitness journey. You gotta continue. You gotta keep going. We take it to our jog, 4065, in three, two, one. Why? Because why not? I said this before, I'm gonna say it again. If you don't take care of this thing, this body that you live in, who do you think is gonna do it for you? There is not one person who's gonna come here, jump into your body, and move it for you. It doesn't happen like that. Yeah, it sucks at first. You learn to love it. It becomes a discipline. And with discipline becomes peace, right? There's peace in that discipline. And you'll learn to love the movement. I know sometimes, listen, there are days I don't wanna do nothing. I don't wanna do nothing. But that's the days I do stuff like this, right? I take it back a notch, and that means I'm, this is the hardest thing you've done. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. But there are some days, pick it up, we take it again into our run, four, five, seven, oh. Some days you gotta just pull back the energy, which is fine. But don't ever just quit. Keep going, do something. You got it, you got it. Oh yeah. Come on, 45 seconds. It's just running. It's just running. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be able to clear the mind. Right? 30 seconds. Pick it up, pick it up. Come on. 30 seconds left. You get to walk on the other side. You have two more. Two more blocks, all of the same thing. And that's it. Then we're out of here. So. This is the moment. Ding, 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 rum up that engine, okay? Halfway through means we gotta show up. Show up harder in the second half. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two. Walk it out. Two, five, three, five. All right, grab some water. 17 minutes into this workout, we end at 29 minutes. So, we got 12 minutes left. 12 minutes left of this workout. Slowly building up that pace again, taking it to our jog and our run. Listen, I'm incredibly proud of you for going this far. Be proud of yourself when you finish, okay? Don't hop off that treadmill early. You have distractions, your phone's ringing, kids crying in the background. I get that. Send to the babies, go back to your workout, okay? And just all the moms out there, or dads out there that have their, with their children and they block out this time, listen, it is important, don't feel guilty. Right, you are important enough to take 30 minutes to get your mind and your body right, okay? Once that is right, you could be the best mom and dad in the whole wide world, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. That job keeps calling you, honestly. Cell phones, man. You remember back in the day, okay? I'm a 36-year-old 30, woman here. I remember my parents jobs ever calling them once they left their jobs now one time maybe a few times like if there was an emergency okay but did i ever see them calling them texting them there's a limit there is boundaries you are important this is your time this is your life everything else can wait take the 30 minutes do not feel guilty and i'll say i will keep saying i will keep saying i will keep saying it until it sinks into your head okay because Sometimes you really need to hear that. Where are we? We gonna take it into our jog? Yeah, we are. All right, we gotta pick it up a notch again, okay? I lied, pick it up a notch. Oh no, we take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three, five, four, five, pick it up. Three, five, four, five. One more walk. You got one more. Dun, dun, dun. Almost cut you out of a walk when you were gonna run for an extra minute. 
So that was just, I was just going on a speech. Tangent. About life. Okay. I, I think I, f I feel so passionate about it too because I lived that life. I was a very young mom. I had two kids. By the time I was like 21. And I used to, this is what I did to like get myself back into shape. I wasn't like the fitness guru that I was now. It was that space and time was not available to me. I had too much on my plate. It just seemed too crazy. But what I did do was put those kids into a stroller and walk. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pick it up. Four, five, six, five. And I mean, I would walk. And I would walk. I would walk miles. And it was good because I got to spend. I didn't feel. You know what it is? You get that. I'm sorry if you're not a mom or a dad and this doesn't resonate to you. Maybe even you're like you have animals and you feel this way. But it's sometimes there's so much guilt about leaving them and just putting yourself first. You're like, how selfish of me that I'm so worried about my appearance, not worrying about your appearance. It's trying to make the inner you feel good. You gotta wake up in the morning and you gotta love that reflection that you see in the mirror. <laughs> When you see it, your kids will see it. Your fur babies will see it. Don't feel bad. All right, sometimes I touch on it. <clears throat> there could be other things that, that like get you excited about, that get you motivated to run, but for me, pick it up. Four, five, seven, oh, we run. It was important since I was so young to stay healthy for my kids. Right, to stay active, to show them what it was like to take care of this body that we live in. I don't know if they listen. Teenagers know. <laughs> the teenagers know. Uh, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. We just go. Enjoy your life. Feel good in the skin you're in. Okay, 30 seconds. I go back to the run now. Let's go, 20 seconds. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I know it's the hard part. You got 15 seconds. We walk and recover. We take it to our last block already. I know that whole speech. It was just to distract you. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm changing my name to the running magician because distractions are my thing. Let's go, two, five, three, five. We re. Cover. We recover. Okay? We do it again. Last one. Hit the hit the horn. Bing, 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 bing. Last one. Don't ask where that energy came from. I don't know. Endorphins picked them. Anybody ever dance on the treadmill? I do it all the time. I love it. I love when you see people at the gym and they're like, oh, wow. They're in the zone. Ain't nobody stealing their piece right there. Beautiful thing to see. 15 seconds. We take it into our normal walk, which is a 3040. We got nine seconds. Eight seconds. Look alive. Look alive. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Pick it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four more minutes of work and then we recover. I was gonna fully recover and then I was just gonna say recover and then it was something happened in my face. Okay, then we fully recover. So enjoy it here. This is a normal walk. We take it to a fast walk. Oh yeah, we love the fast walk. I love the speed walkers. The mall walkers. I used to work in the mall. I had to be there early. Saw the crew, man. They be putting in the work. 15, 20 laps around that mall. I mean, what else you can do when it's cold outside? I'm from Michigan. Okay, I don't live there now, but I'm from Michigan. And uh, it's cold. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold. 10 seconds. Eight seconds. We go three, five, four, five, and four. Three, two. Pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. Listen. You got the last two minutes for coming up next, right? Your last jog and your last run. Once you take a moment, okay? I listen to what I'm saying. If you didn't listen to anything, listen to what I'm saying now. Choose who you want to be today. You choose right in this moment. 
okay? You're gonna be the person that's like, I did this whole entire workout. Two minutes left. Nah, I don't need to. Eh, just take it easy. It's only the last two minutes. I'm exhausted, I'm fatigued. This is the first time I've ever did this. I think I did enough. You could be that person. Or you could be the person, man, I got these last two minutes. I'm gonna show up for myself. I'm gonna prove to myself that I am worthy of anything that I want by going to get it, by seizing it, by attacking it. And then you're gonna do it again. If you choose option one, we gonna have, you better text me and we gonna have a serious heart to heart, okay? Five, four, three, two, pick it up, 4065. 4065, two minutes here. Listen, how much time do you spend on social media a day, right? Two minutes, four minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, right? Throw that away. This is two minutes that matters. You matter. This matters. So, clear your mind. Exhale. That's all stale energy. That's all stale air that we have been holding on to. Get it out, okay? Because we're coming up to this last minute, and it is a run, and it's a four, five, seven, oh, and if you haven't pushed your pace, because I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't ask you to increase. I told you to maintain the same paces. I want you to add on something extra. Just do it. Don't think about it, right? I don't care if it's point one. Put something extra on. Show up for yourself. One minute, I want you to give yourself 100% effort. In three, two, one, pick it up. 100% effort. You deserve 100% all the time, okay? You're not gonna give yourself 100%, who's gonna do it? Right, you gotta set the example in yourself. You want people to treat you a certain way? Treat yourself that way. <clears throat> Let's go. <clears throat> 20 seconds down. Let's go, baby. You're almost halfway there. 30 seconds. Here we go. Stay with it. Listen, I believe in you. You believe in you, right? You wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be trying to change if you did not believe in you, if you didn't want change, okay? So don't quit now. Don't stop that treadmill early. 10 seconds, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slow it down, three, oh, four, oh. All right. You can take it right down. Three, oh, four, oh. Recover. Recover. We made it. The last two minutes, we're just cooling down. We're bringing the heart rate back down so that when we jump up, it's not high. Right, you wanna just allow your body some time to come back down naturally, okay? Don't jump off and like feel like you need to pace, right? You ever get done, you do something high energy and you just can't sit still. Like your body needs to move to get the heart rate back down. This is that moment, okay? You're all right. You're okay. We are done, all right? We have five different blocks. Every block, I say five different blocks, then I said every block is the same. But we have five blocks and they were all the same, okay? We started with a two minute walk, they increased. Remember the name of this, this workout was the 30 minute walk run build. So every block we were building up our pace to take us to our run. Take it down two, five, three, five. Now, if you're new to Ibex, right? We do this at the end. You only get this secret emoji at the end of the workout when you finish and don't start drag and dropping and get the emoji and just say you did it. Cause listen, we, you only cheat in yourself, okay? And you ain't gonna like that. Ain't gonna like it, okay? So when you finish this, you can text this in the comments here on YouTube. You can DM us on social media. Please share your post, share your runs with us. Let us know what you're doing. We love to see that, okay? So, ninja, pew, 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 pew. Because we crushed this workout. I don't know what I was, that was me with the katana, okay? Talent on the treadmill, just saying, okay? Remember you see anybody else Put that in the comments. Like it, love it, high five it. One team, one world, one love right here, okay? You can hit that stop button in five, four, three, two, one. This is Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel. 30 minute walk from build intervals. And I'll see you next time. Clown rather clown all out by myself right now. Big, big man, like my ship is all sound, like no.